and welcome to this month's Two Minute Tip. And we're going to be looking at the very new Sentinel-2 data that was released at the end of November. This is an image over northeast England. Now the exciting thing about Sentinel-2 really is the increased resolution. It's free and it's nine times better resolution than Landsat 8. Uh, let's just have a quick look at Landsat 8 of the same area, just to compare. There you go, you can see the 30 meter resolution. Much clearer urban areas in Sentinel-2 than Landsat 8 here. And the field boundaries are much more defined. Sentinel is 10 meter resolution for RGB and near infrared only. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to remove clouds from Sentinel imagery. We have a very cloudy image to practice on here. Um, what you need to do is open up the Spatial Modeler Editor and load the model that is provided on our Spatial Modeler library called cloudsentinel2.gmdx You'll need to load that by going open. Okay, so I just need to change the input image to the one I have in my viewer. It's using band 1 which has wavelengths that highlight cloud. You can see there, cloud quite bright, the rest of the area nice and dark. A threshold and then an either or to substitute the non-cloudy areas with the original imagery and cloudy areas to be a value of zero. Okay, so we can preview that. The preview window opens along here, and I'm just going to sync the images. Link, sync, and equalize. And there you go, you can see the areas of cloud are uh, now a value of zero, which has just masked them out. You may need to play with this threshold here by editing it over here. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this two minute.